Brothers and sisters, this will be our third video on today's special session. Being where and when linguists see positive in ethnolinguistics using the polar language as a case study, extending it to other languages so that we can come together and build bridges through languages. Now, the challenge remains where we would feel motivated, thus take over from where he left. Amadou Ampateba left, of course, and other scholars like Sheikh Antajou, and so on and so forth. Now, if it is about speeches, we have seen and heard a lot of them, and the archives have a lot of them compiled. What does Africa need now to transform speeches into action? Brothers and sisters, as we speak, Pular is on high demand here in the United States of America, ranging from interpretation to security-related tasks and missions, extending it to modern science. This is not something I am speculating on. I'm involved in it professionally. Now let's come back to the topic in question. Words like ozone cannot have equivalence if we are to use word-for-word -word interpretation or translation. I mean, in this case, polar language. Ozone in polar means Mayo Mango. Now, interestingly, some words in polar cannot get equivalence in meaning where they are to be matched with one single word in English or in French. Okay? Language grows. Listen to the word itself. Atlantic Ocean. Geographically and then geologically together with nature these words are much with context and con with concepts sorry into our thought process then whenever you hear atlantic ocean your mind brings you a picture of that big sea if english can mandate itself to do that or history mandates it to do that why can't we believe in ourselves and know that we can also do something similar? It has come to a time where Africa must spend funds on research, especially technology and languages. We can be the best in that area. It is also all about real determination and then self-worth and you believe in yourself everything begins in where you believe in yourself everything ends and fails where you do not begin be, believe in yourself and that is across the board for anything in life now like we said interestingly some words in polar cannot get equivalent in meaning where they are to be matched with one single word in English, French, Chinese, or Arabic. Mark you, language originates from and is influenced by environment. If you deny, I will refer you back to the Egyptology, a book of Egyptology written by Sheikh the Job, or using some of his lessons, Take a child, leave the child in the bush to interact with other, I mean, animals and see if they will not create their own language. They will. The need to communicate with nature, the need to communicate among ourselves is where language is from. It is not 
anything to be identified with. Like I said it before, no laboratory will give you a DNA of Pular Mandinka Sarahule. The DNA will only stop at you being black or white, Caucasian or black. So let's think. Brothers and sisters, um, for example, to get the equivalent of ozone in Pular, one must use an adjective to complement the object being talked about or the situation being talked about in certain cases. In this context, two words must be combined, then produce a compound word to give us the word for Atlantic or for ozone, sorry, in polar. Let's build it together. You see, where water is more than what is in a well or oasis, if it is huge, Pular would call it Mayo. Mayo. And Mayo stands for river. Lake, sometimes, though streams are called the same word being Mayo. Now to get ozone in Pular, you will add mango, means huge or big to mayo then it will be mayo mango that would give you also mark you adjectives in polar are also determined by what is being talked about Either an object, a subject, or a situation. So the adjectives in the context of English, because it is huge here, is describing something. But when you take that and add it to the noun or the object or subject being talked about, it can now give you a compound word, then you can find equivalence. Not in every case though. Example, Mayo Mango means Ozo. You can take it to be Ozo. But look at it this way. It changes again. Neto means human being. Mauro means big, huge. But the word complementing Neto here is Mauro. Call it an adjective if you want, because it's describing the person. Now, it means giant, a huge person. But in other situations also, it can also stand for a respected person. Or connect the Mauro in Pular means this is a big man, a highly respected individual. Okay? Different from when the Pular say, which means it's an arrogant person. Now, neto maudo means you are huge and a giant. Neto maudo means somebody arrogant. Now, it changed because it is determined by the noun, subject or object or situation being complemented. We'll have more videos on these ones. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. It is your brother Isa Bokar Singh.